Welcome back. Uh, today we are going to be solving uh, math paper two, 2022, which is which was it on question e? Uh, on question e. This was on question e, nine, right? So now let's uh, get started with our week. Uh, from this, we are told. Uh, the diagram shows a rectangular piece of land. This is a rectangular piece of land. And given that AB, this AB it is one kilometer. And uh, let me just remove this one. Uh, BC, BC it is uh, 2.5 uh, kilometer. And AC it is 2.8 kilometer. Then we are told to calculate the angle A, B, C. So now let's get started for solution. So here, this is the where we are going to start with our solution for solution. One A, we are told to calculate angle, angle, angle A, B, C. So for you to calculate the angle of A, B, C, you have to follow the letter which is in between, uh, in which this is the angle which you will be looking for. So the angle which we'll be looking for, it is this here. So we can denote it uh, as a x. So uh, the opposite of uh, b, this is big letter b. So we can have a small letter b here. Small letter b here. Small letter b here. Then here, this is a. Opposite of a, we are going to have small letter a. Then opposite of C, we're going to have small letter C. So how do we find uh, the angle of uh, ABC? So we're going to use a cos law in which we're going to say, because we're looking for uh, this B angle, so we're going to say start with this small b, which is B squared, it will be equals to uh, A squared plus C, plus C, this is C, plus C squared minus C, uh 2ac cos the angle which we are looking for which is cos b right in which uh here we are going to have uh b we have b the small b we have 2.2.8 2 squared then which is equals to a opposite of a we have 2.2.5 2 uh squared then plus uh, the opposite of C, we have 1, so we have 1 squared, right? Then uh, minus uh, 2 open bracket, where this A, we have uh, 2.5. Then where this C, we have 1 here, then uh, cos B, because this is the angle which we are looking for. Then here, we can calculate it as the... When you punch on calculator 2, 2.8 squared, you are going to have, uh, you are going to have uh, 7.84, which it will be equals to, when you square 2.5, the answer you get it is uh, 6.25, uh, then plus, here we have a 1. Then minus uh, 2.5 times 2. 2.5 times 2, you are going to have 5, right? We are going to have 5 here. Because 5 times 1, it is 1. So we have a cos of B, right? Then in which uh, here we have uh, 7.84 to be equals to 1 plus 6.2. 25 we are going to have 7.25 then minus 5 cos b because this is the angle which we are looking for in which uh, we can uh, take uh, this minus minus 5 cos b to the other side in which it will be uh, we can say 7 7.25 minus uh, cos minus here we have a five year 
here we have five. Let me just use this duster. Here we have a five, which is cos b, which is equals to. Uh, I've just swapped. I didn't change anything. So here we have uh, seven, seven point eighty four, right? In which here we are going to remain with the uh, minus five cos b, right? To be equals to uh, seven point eight four. Minus when this one seven point two five across the equal sign it to be uh minus uh seven point two five. So when we subtract seven seven point eight four minus uh minus uh seven point two five, the answer you are going to get it is uh uh, when you when you subtract seven point eight four minus uh, seven point two five, the answer you are going to get it is uh, so here we have minus five cos b, which is equals to uh, zero point uh, zero point five nine, right? In which you are going to divide with it. Uh, we are going to be divided with e because we are looking for cos b with minus e, 5 minus 5 in which the answer you are going to remain with is cos e, b equals uh, when you divide uh, 0 0.9 with 5 the answer you are going to get it is 0 0.118 right Then we have a negative here, right? Then we are going to do so. Let's multiply this one times a negative, uh, times negative one. You are going to have uh, this answer, which is a negative zero point one one eight, right? Then when you do shift inverse of cos, the answer you are going to get it is ninety six. So angle. Angle A, B, C, it will be uh, 96.8, right? Uh, in which uh, this is the angle, angle of A, B, C. So now we have to find, uh, so let's try to create a space here. So we have found that our angle it is 96.7 degree as the angle of A, B, C. So this is for part A, uh, Roman numeral 1. For Roman numeral 2, we are told to calculate uh, the area of triangle A, B, C. So we are going to use the same angle because this is the letter which is in between here. So we are going to say uh, area area it is equals to half half a c sine sine b because this is the angle which we which we have which is 96.7 right in which uh here when you round it off it was a 96.8 degree so area it will be equals to half a we have uh, a small a we have this is a small a so I was, it was supposed to be a a c so a a we have two two point five in the bracket then uh, c we have one then sign uh, ninety. 6.7 degree right then when you divide 2.5 divided by 2 2.5 divided by 2 the answer you get it is area equals uh, 1.25 
then you multiply by sine uh, sine you do sine uh, 96.8 this is 0 0.8 yeah 0 0.8 the answer you are going to get it is 0 0.9 9296 then when you multiply with it, uh 1.25 the answer you are going to get it is area equals uh 1.24 this is a kilometer squared because we are looking for area so now let's move on to how to find uh how to find the shorter distance of from b to ac so from b to ac so the short, how do we find uh the shorter distance from uh b to ac so we are going to to ac so we are going to uh, make a perpendicular line here in which we are going to uh We all know that uh, for finding the shorter distance, the formula, this is, uh, this was for number two, for number three. The, uh, the formula for finding the shorter distance, it is area equals uh, half B H, right? Then here we are going to, have, if you multiply two times A, we are going to have two A equals uh, B H because we are looking for uh, this height here for shorter distance so we're going to divide with it uh b b right in which we're going to have h equals uh two for a we have uh opposite of a we have uh 2.5 then over uh b we have uh 2.80 kilometer right in which uh, when you multiply two times the 2.5 uh, the answer you are going to get it is 2.5 times 2 it is 5 so it is 5 divided by 2.8 in which it will be equals to uh, 5 divided by 2.8 you are going to have 1.7 nine uh, because we are we only have one decimal here so we can round it off to here in which it will be 1.80 kilometer so this is the our shorter distance so now let's move on to to b part b but B, we have to solve uh, the equation of, uh, this is for B, uh, solve the equation we have to uh, cos theta to be equals to minus one. And we are given the range, it is 180 degree greater or equal to theta less than or equal to 360. So the angle which we'll be looking for should be shouldn't be less than 180 but she should be greater than 180 but less than 360 right then here we're going to make cos the subject of the formula so which is we divide by 2 by 2 so here we have cos uh, theta it will be equals to 2 into 1 we're going to have 0 0.5 so minus so for finding uh so here because we're finding the angles so we're going to say theta equals uh, cos inverse uh, because here this is where you ignore the negative but in in mind just know that there's a negative so we have 0 0.5 right when you do shift uh, let's draw a quadrant here right when you do shift of 0 0.5 uh, shift cos of 0 0.5 the answer you are going to get it is 60 so 60 uh, Range is here, right? 60, 60 degree. There's also an alternative angle which is 60 here. So this angle should be uh, greater than 180. So this angle, it is from here to here. So uh, this straight line, it is 180, right? Then 
we are going to say uh, 180 degree plus 60. So 180 plus 60, the answer you are going to get it is uh, 240 degrees. So this is the angle for theta. So now let's try to simplify for C. For C, let's try to simplify. We have 42 X, Y, Z over 56 times 32 X, Y over 40, right? 40 X squared Y. Uh, this Y goes with this Y, we remain with Y here. Then here, we remain with one X. Then here, X goes. Then here. Uh, 2 into 42, you are going to remain with the, uh, 20, 21 here, 21. Then 2 into 40, we are going to remain with the 20, right? Then here, uh, we can say 56 divided by 2, which is 28. Let me say twin, uh, 56 divided by 32. It is, uh, sorry, say 56. 56 uh, divided by uh, 8. The answer is 7. Then 32, 32 divided by 8. You are going to have 4, right? So here we have. 8 into here, we have 4. 8 into 56, we are going to have 7. So here we have remained with 21y times 4. So 21 times 4, we are going to have 84y, right? So you are going to have uh, 84y. 84y. Because here there's a y also, so we are going to have, uh, we are going to have uh, y squared. Because of this y, y times y, which is y squared, then x over 7 times 20, 7 times 20, which is 140, right? 140 x, right? 140x because we, we only remain with the x here then x and x goes so here we can reduce this one by dividing uh, let's say 140 divided by uh, 4 you're going to have 35 so uh, 84 divided by 8 it is uh, 84 divided by 4, it is 21 y squared over then 140 divided by uh, 4, it is 35, right? 7 into 21, it is 3, right? It is 3 y. Then 7 into 35, it is uh, 35 divided by uh, 7, it is 5. So we have 3, 3y three over 5. So this is uh, our last answer for uh, math paper 2, 2.22 uh, for the question 9. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so the next time you may see the new updates. In the next lesson we'll be looking at one of the other past papers. Thank you.